Hi, welcome back. In this lecture, we will study about actuators, accuracy and repeatability of a manipulator. So, let's start with actuators. An actuator is a component of a machine that is responsible for moving and controlling a mechanism or system. For example, by opening a valve. In simple terms, an actuator is a mover. An actuator requires a control signal from the controller and a source of energy of course. So a device that converts the energy into mechanical work is known as an actuator. The vast majority of actuators produce either the rotational motion or linear motion. Look at this block diagram. Power from the power supply is amplified and supplied to the actuator. The actuator produces a motion which is either used directly or by the use of transmission gears in between. So, depending on the type of the energy, the actuators can be classified as electrical actuators that uses the electrical energy, pneumatic actuators that uses pressurized gas or air, hydraulic actuators uses incompressible liquid and piezoelectric actuators that uses some piezoelectric material. An electrical actuator converts electrical energy into the mechanical energy. The basis of operation of an electrical actuator is the magnetism. Examples of electrical actuators are AC motors, DC motors, servo motors and stepper motors. Now, in hydraulic and pneumatic actuators, both the energy is transmitted via a fluid under pressure. When a pressure is applied to the confined chamber containing a piston, the piston will exert a force causing a motion. In hydraulic actuators, pressurized liquid is used and in pneumatic actuators, pressurized gas or air is used in the confined chamber containing a piston. Pneumatic systems have lowest power to weight ratio, but the hydraulic systems have the highest power to weight ratio. Therefore, a large number of manipulators and industries are equipped with hydraulic actuators. Moving further, piezoelectric actuators are transducers that convert the electrical energy into mechanical displacement or stress or vice versa. That is, if there is any mechanical displacement or stress, the electrical energy is produced. Piezoelectric actuators work on piezoelectric effect. The displacement is very minute or precise. The precise movement control afforded by the piezoelectric actuator is used to finally adjust machine tools, lenses, mirrors or other equipment in the industries. A piezo actuator can be used to control hydraulic valves or act as a small volume pump or special purpose motor. There are a lot of application of the piezoelectric actuator in the industries. So, the last topic of this lecture is accuracy and repeatability. Students are often confused between these two terms. Repeatability is the ability to achieve repetition of the same task. Repeatability is doing the same task over and over again. On the other hand, accuracy is the difference between the requested task and the obtained task. That is, accuracy is hitting your target at each time. Look at this figure over here. In the figure number one, the repeatability is bad as well as the accuracy is bad because the result in the figure number one are very scattered. That is, they are very far from each other. If they are far from each other, this means that repeatability is bad. Plus, they are far from the center point, that is our target. So, the accuracy is also bad. In the second figure, the accuracy is good because all the results are in close proximity to our target. But again, they are very far from each other. So, the repeatability is again bad. In the third figure, the repeatability is good because all of the results are very close to each other. But all these results are very far from the center point, that is our target. So, the accuracy is bad. The fourth figure is the best example. It has good repeatability and good accuracy. Why good repeatability? Because all of the results are very close to each other. And why good accuracy? Because all of the results are very close to our target. So, 
repeatability is doing the same task over and over again while accuracy is hitting your target each time so that was all for this lecture see you in the next lecture